I would say that Krav Maga found me. I ran into um, some salesmen uh, in the lobby of my building offering a trial class. Uh, I decided I'd never heard of Krav Maga before. I just knew that it was a self-defense class um, and that we'd be doing some physical training in self-defense. And so I went and I tried the class and that was pretty much it. It sealed the deal. I did one class with Romeo back in 1997. Um, it was one of the best experiences I'd ever had and I became addicted right away. It also came to me in a time my life was very stressful. There was a lot going on and it was a perfect outlet to keep me sane <laughs> during, again, some very stressful times. Um, I trained as often as I could um, several days a week and, um, and now I am still here 14 years later um, and I can't say enough about it. I believe that Krav Maga is the perfect self-defense for women because it allows a safe environment to learn a very valuable skill. Um, the mindset that is delivered within the physical training um, is, is crucial uh, to being willing to fight back and giving that sense of okay to knowing that it's all right uh, to be violent if you need to. Um, and when you're dealing with violent assaults, you have to match it equally or even more so. And that's the area where many women feel the, or lack, a, they, they lack the ability to um, go to that next level because it's, they feel as though it's not, uh, it's not the right thing to do. They don't want to harm another person. Um, but getting in and knowing and having the acceptance to do so. Uh, we develop the right mindset um, and the skills are very natural and it's just about reacting. And that's why I think the Krav Maga is perfect for not only women, but everyone out there. So come and do it now. Don't miss our Fight Back seminar on Saturday, April 9th from 2.30 to 5.30 at the National Training Center. It'll be hosted by myself and my team, and we'll be working on verbal skills, awareness skills, and of course, all the skills that you need in order to defend yourself in a threatening situation.